Welcome to the studio with the new BMW 3 Series facelift, the BMW 3er. Listen and repeat, BMW 3er. That's the German lesson for today for the BMW 3 Series. <laughs> and we can see here, a little bit changed this front kidney, but it has not grown actually. That is interesting, but it's actually you know, a little bit, you know, has a different curve here. Also two times vertical fins. This is the extended shadow line, so you have black frame and also the black inside. The other base versions would like, look a little bit brighter. This area here is higher, so it gives more presence on the road. And the very cool color here is a special M color, Brooklyn Gray. So M Brooklyn Gray, really astonishing, right? And for me, most important news, so far the headlands had, had this, you know, this element like this, you know, like there's this kink inside, but here now a more seamless design also here. So beautiful update for the headlamps. LED standard, optional matrix adaptive LED with curving light functions and then also the signature is a little bit more accentuated. I think it's a good thing and the laser light is no more, but you still then have in the matrix LED now these blue accentuations carried on from the former laser light design. Why is that? Manufacturers go away from laser light and say, I know what is nice try, but the matrix LED have actually a better price performance. They have, you know, enough performance, also in high beam, then there were these regulations issues with laser light in the US, and they said, Audi and BMW, the hell with laser light, Matrix LED is actually just fine. So I think in this case here, a very good upgrade as for the front face for the BMW 3 Series. There are new infotainment systems update also to come and also better perforated sensor tech seats. So stay tuned here with Thomas on Autogefuel for all the changes to come right now, let's go. 4.71 or 185 inches is the length. It's little, you know, a little tiny bit longer because uh, the spoilers have changed a little bit, but of course no major change. Wheels come from 17 to 20 inch wheels. 18 inch is standard already in the US. These here are the 19 inch ones. 20 you could get over the M performance parts, but this is actually then a good choice. Optional, of course, also the adaptive suspension is available, but already the base suspension of the 3 Series has these hydraulic cushions inside the dampers. And here the side profile, once again, very clean sedan look, dropping line right here. I think this is still a very classic, timeless look, isn't it? This vehicle does have the extended shadow line, however, the black door frames are standard now for all models, but you can still depict them and go for chrome, but then you have to go for that on purpose, which I would actually do. This is a sportier look. But I'm more like team chrome frames around the windows, or are you team black frames around the windows? Tell me in the comments. The rear of the 3 Series, to me, one of the most beautiful Stan rears. Again, you can also get the Touring, the estate version, if you want more luggage flexibility. But here, you can see the lamps, swinging form, beautiful, clean, three-dimensional work. In the lower part, in the M Sport, you have the black contrast and diffuser style, as well as no job for the AFAP, no job for the autogefuel fake exhaust police, because this is real. I mean, you know, yes, there's like a decomment around it, which makes it a little bit thicker, but you see, this is the actual pipe, and I think that's an honest design, isn't it? As khaki, this is the standard one, here in the M Sport with the M colors, and this would be then the optional computer key, the big one, where you can also have like preconditioning and so on and so on. But this one, of course, does the job. Door closing sound. Very solid, ah, oh, low frequency, I love that, right? Then inside, you can see here, top part soft touch, then here also really soft, great build quality, also nice Hofmeister King design element. New, these perforated sensor tech seats. In some markets, they're already available for like a year or so, pre-facelift. Now they are really introduced with all the models in facelift, here in red. Perforation for more breathability, and that's really soft, great quality and also available in black, brown or beige because red is not everyone's you know, thing. Also not mine, I would probably pick them in beige. Um, maybe not to this exterior color, maybe then the black seats would be better. Yeah, I don't know, you pick that. Then M Sport steering wheel, M colors, and of course you can see infotainment system. This is kind of like big news in the interior. The two screens, we know them from other new models, 12.3 left, 14.9 on the right side. And this is then the new BMW OS8, new infotainment system, and we will experience that very soon. These seats here with the perforated center tech, really soft, very comfortable. Of course, the SUVs are a little more comfortable in the upright seating position style, but other than that, I like the control right here, you have really good comfort in these seats. And when you put them in the lowest position here with 1.89 or 6.2, 
Still some headroom left. Here is not the panoramic roof in this case, Ben, but you can get one. Seeing up, down, manual way, but very good and smooth process. Cockpit area, you can see here these decor elements, clean layout, then here this curved screen, one unit, then 14.9 on the right, 12.3 on the left. In the lower area, still a manual uh, volume knob here, that's good. The climate unit is sadly gone because the climate unit is in the screen now. Hmm, yeah, about that. I don't like it that much. Sumo to the uh, software version. I mean, at least it stays here in that same area, at least, yeah. Here you can open this one, this more classic, adaptive cup holders, inductive charging, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay is wireless. And then new shifting lever, you have this new reduced shifting lever. I mean, for a 3 Series it would, I think, still be cool to have the classic one. This one now, of course, offers a cleaner look, but again, it looks less sporty than definitely. And the armrest, of course, very well attached, nice leatherette surface and more space underneath. Yeah, Joan is training the camera. BMW OS 8. Here with this big main menu or the complete app view. Yeah, there are so many things to do now. Meanwhile, ooh, yeah, I always say that 07 delivers a better overview, but this one, of course, wow, more in your face. Uh, and you can also get the Harman Kardon sound system for this one, which gets you a very, very nice crystal clear sound. I can really recommend it as one of my favorite options, especially if you're a music lover than I, you know, just as I am. Uh, interesting also when we check around here, the visualizations are really nice. And we can also check out the map here. Here we go. This is also quite responsive, so the car internal GPS is still very well usable. Yeah, and about that climate control. Um, what is missing actually that you can, um, you know, it was like in the versions before, here you can actually also activate or deactivate the AC. So this has been updated now. So they do listen to the feedback we give here on this channel and that you, you also give here in the comments. Digital instruments, of course, also all new, like in the other all new BMW models. And um, you can, at the right side of the steering wheel, change them, for example, also the layout where you want to have the digital speed displayed and so on. Head up display, you can also change contents there. Definitely always a helpful option since steering wheels can also block views on the instruments. Rear seating area, also perforated center tech, looks really lovely. High quality and the seating area is also quite wide actually for rear seats. And what about the leg room? Oh, by the way, also soft touch at the rear seats, like for the premium vehicle. Here it fits for five tall adults. No, pro well, in this, I would rather say four tall adults, five maybe long, uh, short way, fits here. Headroom wise, also directly fits here with the 189 or six foot two. Well, in the middle part, I mean, you can drive for short ways. Of course, you would need to push this one forward now. It's a little bit stiffer than here on the middle part. It does work, but of course, in this sedan segment, rather use the outside seats. Here we go, trunk area, 480 liters. If you want more, you need the estate or the touring model. Here, the length is a good meter of 40 inches, very well usable. And the same also almost goes for the width and the height here at 53 centimeters or 21 inches. And as for engines, we know rather unchanged, however, more electrification for the engines and diesel, petrol, plug-in hybrid four and six cylinders, ranging from 150 to 374 horsepower, excluding the true M3. Which one is the best to go for the most fun? Yes, the M340i, the six cylinder. This one here is the 330i, the four cylinder, but my personal tip would be 340i, of course, it's now when money plays no role, the six cylinder, and you don't need the M3 really, the 340i will just be fine. In the US, you can also get it rear-wheel drive only, that would be the dream combination. For example, in Germany, you get it then as all-wheel drive, but that's of course, you know, yeah, that thing that goes best actually is most fun. Really great also with the new perforated sensor tech seats, and I really also like the front changes. Well, what about the competitors of the 3 Series? We also have reviews of that, so see you there.